All right, once you have your lizard traced onto your paper, what you're gonna do is draw uh, repeated line designs around your uh, lizard. And all you gotta do is just skip a little space away from your lizard and go around just like that. Now, when you draw your lines going around your lizard, you wanna leave a little space around it so you can color. You don't want your line too close to each other. So you go around, make sure you have at least enough space where you can put your finger in between each line. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Skip a little space, make sure you have enough room. Let's see, that's good. Go around. Because if you have your line too close like this, say right here, it's going to be hard to put your dots in. So you want to try to kind of keep it out. It's enough space. And it's okay if your lines go outside your paper. They run off the edge of your paper. That's totally fine. And all you're going to do is just go around. that with each line. I can go ahead and just finish these on out. Just make sure I leave a little space between these two lines. I go ahead and do this right here. Again make sure I can put my finger in between it. Finish that. And that should be it. Alright once you do that you want to color your entire design. Alright, once you finish your designs, you're going to color your lizard and your lines with the marker. So here I'm just going to go ahead and start coloring my lizard green. Now you don't have to color your lizard green. You can color whatever color you want, so it doesn't matter what color you use. I'm just going to color mine green. Stay inside the lines. Color it nice and neat. Alright, now what we're going to do is go ahead and um, start on our design. What I want to do is color every other uh, line with a different color. So I'll probably just use blue and purple. I want to use a dark color. And then when I do my dots, I'm going to use a light color. I'm just going to go in and color each line nice and neat. Now you see how it looks with the design on it. I see you have the patterns going blue, purple, blue, purple. So kind of give you an idea. So you definitely want to kind of keep a nice, clean, crisp uh, design. You can do a pattern. If not, that's okay. I left the uh, the color of the paper to show on every other design. You can do that as well. Or you can color um, each, <clears throat> each line if you want. So that's up to you. Now what we're going to do next is actually... Uh, paint the dots. We're going to paint the dots on the lizard and paint dots on the design. Alright, now what I'm going to do is actually paint my dots. And here I got a few q-tips and I have three colors. I have like a beige color, light blue, and a light purple. So what I'm going to do is basically just start adding my dots in. And I'm going to just get the q-tips and all you got to do is just go in dot, 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 dot. When you run out, just dip it back in. You're just going to fill up your whole lizard with your dots. I like to do my lizard first so you can do that as well. It's up to you what you want to do first. That's fine. There's no rhyme or reason to the way I'm putting my dots. I'm just putting it, filling my lizard in with my dots. Now that I finished that, I'm going to go ahead and start on my designs. I'm just going to go here, like this, inside my designs. I'm going to put it over my blue. I like that light blue over the dark blue. <clears throat> it's okay if it runs off the line, too.
that's pretty much it. Now, if I want to add, I think I like this empty space right here around each line, but I think I'm going to put some color in it. I think I'm going to use blue just to kind of fill it in. So, I mean, excuse me, not blue, but the purple. Put it inside here. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. This is one of my favorite lessons, so I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot. It looks pretty good. Thanks so much.